Steven here, Sweet Home Freedom. Thought I'd go back to the uh, constitutional dollar as a discussion real quickly, uh, seeing what the prices are these days and what's happening in silver that it's just going sideways in the paper market, uh, in the commodities market. So I was looking up in um, Mises.org on the constitutional dollar uh, article that I was reading, and it's talking about that um, the Coinage Act of 1792 is but one source among many that make this evident reading. The money of account in the United States shall be expressed in dollars or units of the value, mass and weight, of a Spanish mill dollar, which was the most popular coin at that time in the late 1700s, as the same is now current and the con and to contain 371 grains uh, of 4 16th parts of a grain of pure 999 silver. So I was doing a little calculation, finding out what is a grain. And a grain of silver is 0 0.06 grams. And it said something like, what was it? Six of 200, let me go back to one. The total is 26, I need to save that. Um, so it, it, it's about a half, one tenth, one, six, six hundredths of a gram. Oh God, that's really interesting. So they were going off of the uh, Spanish mill dollar and the United States dollar, this Morgan dollar, um, which if you can see here fairly well, eh, sort of fairly well, is what the United States started coining at that time. And, oh, or a little bit later, this is an 1885 coin. So they wanted or determined at that point when the United States did not have its own money, they used the Spanish mill dollar. And that was, uh, as it said, 300, what did it say? 300, 371 grains and four sixteenths. How did they weigh this stuff? They must have had a pretty, pretty nice scale. They didn't have electronic scales. And they created this, which weighs that in pure silver. Uh, I was looking up how much these are, and these are 400, 400, 412.5 grains of silver, but um, that's mixed with copper in total. And then if you divide that by 0 0.9, it's 370 grains of silver. So they defined a dollar as a physical thing. Uh, these days, what is a dollar? It's not physical. It's electronic. It's inflated into infinity, you know, electronically. To have these physical things sitting in the treasury or in our pockets for the most part, not in banks, not in, you know, the treasury, but in, in our hands, in our pockets, in, um, I keep mine in a little bag, you know, about a, I don't know, a kilo of silver right here that I was buying off of eBay for the last 10 years. And what's interesting is, okay, it says $1 on it, all right? So the, the value, the face value says $1 at the bottom down here. But if you go on to see what they're worth, uh, one website that I found, USA Coin Book, uh, a good condition of this exact coin is 27 bucks. Hmm, so this one dollar can buy you, I guess, what was it, how many gallons of gas? Like six gallons of gas? Something like that. So, as well as what is it worth on eBay? And if you go onto eBay.com and go look this up, you can't find them any cheaper than 50 bucks. So there's the market. Uh, value, which is I think about 25 bucks and that's probably what they're going off of here on this website, but very good up to extremely fine 
uh, uncirculated 50, 60 or more. But I found the exact same one on eBay and they're n no less than 50 bucks. So you have the official paper markets where they, they're they manipulating it with tons of shorted paper by Deutsche Bank, uh, uh, Barclays, uh, JP Morgan. They're shorting it with paper. But in the physical market, when you go to buy them, and uh, I just bought some silver the other day. Uh, what did we buy? A couple, couple Philharmonics, a couple Maple Leaves of 999 silver, exchanging our currency for silver. Uh, the guy was telling me where I bought it that um, there aren't many people selling anymore. They got the feeling. Gresham's Law is in action right now. They're getting rid of bad money. They're hoarding good money. Silver. And you can still get it, but the spreads are increasing. So it's the cost, the overall cost is going up. Start collecting them as soon as you can. It's not much longer where these things are going to go up to... I mean, one of these we're expecting will feed us for a week if we needed to. The value of it. And what did silver buy back then? You know, when these were created, how much it was a week's worth of pay at least or more. So the value of a silver dollar uh, in silver has not really changed over centuries. Uh, you can and it will, but it fluctuates sideways. But during crises, they're worth a lot more. They never go worthless. Never ever have these things gone worthless but currencies have so continue to study of what a dollar is uh why it's constitutional money and the federal reserve and the uh fed note is not we need to start demanding to get back our money to bring it back into the hands of the people not in electronics not in paper uh in a physical form which we're trying to do with the uh ballets in the moment aren't we Hang in there. Uh, keep learning. Keep studying. Keep storing and sedacking. See you later.